has never seen so much homophobic crap mm -hmm. as we have since Miller came along. And I'm mm -hmm. sick of it. These people have been with us this entire time, and we have never had a problem with it. Mm -hmm. They have never done any of the vile and disgusting things that that man and his weird cronies have leaked out of their mouth. Period. I've never been sexually assaulted at a drag show, but I have been in church twice. Period. And I tell you what, the men at that church told me it was my fault. This whole scenario should have stopped at the United States of America where we have free speech, but it didn't. We're here. And it's so ironic that he also served in our military that guarantees us these freedoms. Move from another place, come here and tell us that a community that we love we are related to, we are friends with, but they're dangerous. That's bullshit. They haven't done anything. And I'm so sick of listening to this weird, fake, pious Christianity being the reason behind we have to protect the kids. Jesus didn't go anywhere and condemn people, ever. And feel hatred and lies and completely annihilate a group of human beings who just want to exist. Any of my Four children that I also grew inside my womb in case pious pippies here are part of this community. They will be lucky because there is not a whole lot of families that would love their child unconditionally. And the fact that they want to take that away from children, that is child abuse. To immediately tell your child he is wrong for feeling like he doesn't belong. Conversion therapy, child abuse. And you don't need a moral compass to recognize something is wrong when it immediately hurts other people. So why are we even here? Why does hate even have a platform? I'm so sick of these straight white Christian males who are already at the top of the food chain acting like somebody is out to get them. Mm -hmm. They just want to exist, Aaron. Period. Peacefully. Leave them alone. Without your 501c3 getting involved. You all. Mwah.